All right, problem 37, uh, we're talking about a finite dimensional real vector space and P is a linear transformation such that if you do P twice, it's the same, it's just doing P once, P squared equals P. Uh, so which of the following must be true? Well, whoa, what this tells you is that P is what's called a projection. In fact, this is the definition of what it means to be a projection, which kind of makes sense you know, when you get into two dimension, too many dimensions, it's hard to picture. Uh, but suppose we're just in, I don't know, two space. And let's make, let P take a point X, Y to, uh, I don't know, X zero maybe. So what I'm doing is I have any point, like the point three, five, and that point is going to get mapped to, well, the three stays the same, but the five gets knocked down to a zero. So you can kind of think about it as I'm projecting down. I'm getting rid of all the Y coordinates, keeping the X coordinates what they are, but making all the new heights zero, projecting down onto the X axis. Um, so here's one such example. I think you could think of as others, but if you can wrap your head around this example, making seeing how this is a projection. Yeah, I guess if I did that twice, if I took three, five, mapped it to three, zero, and then I did it again, well, three, zero would still just go to three, zero. Doing this twice would be the same as just doing it once. Anyways, P is invertible. Uh, no, that is false. Um, here's one. You can't. In, this thing right here is not invertible, right? How would you undo this thing? Where would you send three zero to? You're know, like three five. Yeah, but three four also gets mapped to three zero, right? This gets mapped here. This gets mapped here. So where when we try to uh, think about the inverse map, where do we take three zero? We kind of have to take it here and here. It wouldn't be well defined. This would not be invertible. Diagonal, diagonalizable, uh, that is true. I don't know why I'm crossing these out. This must be true. So that, not necessarily true, I guess is the best way to say this. Um, this one must be true. All projections are diagonalizable. That's a hard word to say. Um, it's a property of being a projection that you must be diagonalizable. I think I'm saying that right. Um, you can get there by looking at the dimension, the eigenspace. Well, I don't want to get too far off talk, topic talking about linear algebra. Google diagonalizable. Go to the Wikipedia page and talk about what it means. But what you'll see are that all projections are automatically diagonalizable. Um, P is either the identity transformation or the zero transformation. Okay, these are two great projections. That's true. The identity transformation, leaving everything alone. Sure, that works. If I did it twice, it'd be the exact same as just doing it once because either way, I don't do anything. Or the zero transformation, take everything down to zero. Sure, that works. Take everything down to zero and then take all those images, which is just zero, down to zero again. I'm still just at zero. These could be true, but they're not necessarily true. Where's an example where that's not true? Well, right here. Right? This projection right here is certainly not the identity transformation because it didn't leave this point alone. And it's not the zero transformation because it could, did not take this guy to zero, zero. So here is a projection that I came up with that is not the identity transformation nor the zero transformation. So while these two guys are projections, a projection is not necessarily one of these two guys. So the only one that must be true is statement two here. The answer would be C.